This is Matthew Cratter from Trade University, and today I want to talk about Bitcoin, Web3, and Web5. As we've been saying for many months, Web3 is really a group of projects that, in my opinion, is completely dead on arrival. It's been a very good uh, game to play for insiders and venture capitalists, but it's been quite bad for retail investors who have ended up being the bag holders. It actually makes zero sense to build on a foundation of sand like Ethereum or Solana or even Luna, which of course now is a joke, though I was saying it was a joke before. Ethereum can't even figure out what their consensus mechanism is. They're moving from proof of work to proof of stake, and they, they have this history of changing their monetary policy every few years or even every few months. Bitcoin is very different. Bitcoiners spent the first decade building a foundation of rock, a very strong foundation, not a foundation of sand like these other blockchains. So Bitcoin is truly decentralized. It's not just decentralized in name only or dyno as a lot of these chains are. It's built on neutral proof of stake. I, I'm sorry, it's built on neutral proof of work, not proof of stake, which can be gamed. And Bitcoin, as we said, has credible future monetary policy. It has this immaculate conception where the founder left. It's not the product of venture capitalists in Silicon Valley like Solana who are getting ready uh, or have been dumping on you. The problem with a lot of these other blockchains is that when you have a large pre-mine, it perverts the project incentives forever. And we've I've shown this this image many, many times, but this is a good idea, gives you a good idea of the overhang of insider tokens. So the red in each of these shows you how many uh, how much is held by insiders. And this is held a lot of this is held by venture capitalists in their funds. And of course they need to liquidate these tokens in order to pay back their LPs their investors. So this is the problem and it leads to a lot of bad decisions where the venture capitalists can dump even before the project is complete. They don't need to wait for an IPO. So this is one reason they like the game. I've been warning you if you've been watching this channel since really last year, here's, an, here's a video you can go back and watch about why Web 3.0 is a scam from October 11th of last year, very close to the peak of the market. Also Bitcoin versus Web 3 back from December of last year. And you can see this image here, which is from the venture capitalist firm, uh, venture capital firm A16Z, Andreessen Horowitz, talking about we deserve a better internet. Of course, this whole thing is built on their tokens. And this is what's really scammy and disgusting about it. And people are finally waking up to this truth. Now, what Jack Dorsey is working on is something different. He left, he left Twitter and is focusing all of his time on the company Square. Square, in case you haven't been following this, changed its corporate name to Block to sort of allude to the blockchain. And so inside of Square, inside of inside of Block, you have a new Bitcoin-only business called TBD, in other words, to be decided. And it doesn't, this might turn out to be the real name or it's just a, a project name. And they've been working on building things on top of Bitcoin. And this is where this idea of Web5 comes comes from. They just released this a couple weeks ago. And they're calling it Web5 for a couple reasons, as far as I can tell. The, there's just sort of a joke about this that, you know, the higher the number, the better. So it's two better than Web3. It's not just one step better. It's much, much better because it uses Bitcoin as the blockchain. Or the other idea is it combines Web2, which you can think of as like Google and Facebook and Twitter, Web2 plus Web3, which is all these tokens and this uh, this attempt at least at decentralization, and you end up with Web5. So the name is a little bit trollish. Uh, I think it's a good name too. The thing about Web5 is it's the only token is going to be Bitcoin, BTC. The only blockchain used is going to be the Bitcoin blockchain as the fundamental layer one for all of this building. And I think this makes a lot of sense. Why do you want to use a blockchain controlled by venture capitalists or a small group of insiders when you can build on this global neutral foundation of stone, which is Bitcoin? I will link to the developer uh, website at uh, tbd.website. You can see here Web5, an extra decentralized web platform, building a web that puts you in control of your data and identity. Uh, it talks about how the web democratized the exchange of information, but it's missing a key layer, identity. Uh, we struggle to secure personal data with hundreds of accounts and passwords we can't remember, etc. And so Web5 is going to try to bring decentralized identity and data storage to your applications. It allows devs to focus on creating delightful user experiences 
while returning, and this is the really important part, while returning ownership of data and identity to individuals. What are decentralized IDs? These, these are what they sound. They sound like this. these will allow users to move from app to app or program to program without needing to log in and without needing to disclose more information than they want to. Unlike Web2, user data is going to be stored and controlled by the issuer. If you use Facebook, for example, Facebook controls and stores all of the data that you give them and it's very difficult to move and take your take your data for example move to another another app under decentralized ideas ids as well the user will be able to, to decide initially and and continually how much personal information to reveal to each app so this is quite different from a facebook or even a twitter which own and store your personal information as we said and this is the problem with the internet in its current incarnation it's become highly centralized. I know Jack has sort of apologized for this publicly in one of his tweets saying he feels bad that he contribute, contributed to building this web that is basically just a bunch of large corporations like Twitter and Facebook. And the problem with these corporations is they like to censor free speech and they're able to do this under American law because they're not the government, but they're basically uh, are in bed, in bed with the government and provide data, of course, to the government. So this is the problem with the internet. It's not privacy focused and there's a lot of uh, free speech censorship and a lot of centralization of information. The pillars of Web5 are going to be these three things, decentralized identifiers, which we talked about, verifiable credentials, so you can prove who you are to various apps, and then decentralized web nodes that allow for data storage and work in a very decentralized way. I'm gonna focus right now on DID, decentralized identifiers. This component of Web5 is gonna use something called ION, which I actually hadn't heard of before uh, reading these articles. ION is an open, public, and permissionless second layer DID, DID digital ID network, network that runs atop the Bitcoin blockchain. So it's sort of a layer two solution. Uh, it says here it's based on the deterministic side tree protocol. I'm not familiar with this. Maybe if anyone here is a developer and can talk more about this in the comments, that'd be great to hear. And here's the important part though, it requires no special tokens, trusted validators, or additional consensus mechanisms to function. It all runs on top of Bitcoin. I'll let you, if you wanna read more about ION, you can read about it here. And here it's identified as well as a layer two solution that runs on top of Bitcoin. I think this is very exciting to see. It's exciting to see the Bitcoin ecosystem being built using layers, just like the internet itself. So we have layer one, the Bitcoin blockchain itself, secured by proof of work, as we said. It's permissionless, it's secure, it's decentralized, it's a firm and neutral foundation, unlike Terra or Solana or Ethereum or any of these other centralized coins. And Bitcoiners have spent the last 12 years making sure that this is the best foundation in the world to build on. We had the block, the block size wars, We've had uh, all these debates about proof of stake versus proof of work. But what we have with Bitcoin is very, very special. It's very neutral, it's very decentralized. It can't be gamed, it cannot be changed. And as such, it's the real foundation to build on. Not something like Solana that has to pause their blockchain every couple weeks and that is run using a token that is mostly owned by insiders and venture capitalists that dump on you. So with Bitcoin, the Bitcoin ecosystem, we have this incredible layer one, and then you can build layer twos on top of that, like the Lightning Network, which we talked about, which is a peer-to-peer -peer payment network using channels built on top of Bitcoin, and then the ION Network, which we just spoke about before. And then you can even have, you can envision layers on top of that. You can envision apps that run on the Lightning Network or that run on ION using ION, which is what Web5 looks like it's going to do. So I think this is very exciting while everyone else is still focused on the alt altcoin casino, the DeFi casino, and issuing a new utility token for every use. Bitcoin is actually building the future. And we're lucky to have Jack Dorsey working on a project like this. And hopefully we get out of this, we can get something like a completely decentralized social network as well. I think this makes a lot of sense to just have one token, which is Bitcoin. You don't really want one token for your shopping app another token for your podcast app, another token for your social media app. You can imagine having to wander around the world with a hundred different types of money in your wallet or your digital wallet. This just doesn't make sense. Money is a winner take all 
game and it tends to consolidate. And I think this is what's happening with Bitcoin. The Bitcoin token, BTC, Bitcoin the asset, is going to be used in Web5. It's going to be used in all these apps. It's going to be used in future Layer 2 and Layer 3 solutions. That's This is because Bitcoin is the one coin to rule them all. This is the future, not just of money, but it's also the future of a permissionless, open, and free internet that's not completely controlled by large corporations. So I think this is very exciting. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.